In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use Casio Scientific Calculator model FX570EX to find the value of mean for ungrouped data. First thing first, we need to reset the setting and the memories in the calculator. Okay, so to do that, uh, you need to press the shift button followed by number 9 and then you need to press number 3, initialize all to reset all the setting and all the previous memories. Okay, and then press equal button for yes. And then press a C button. Okay, next. We need to press the shift button. Okay, uh, followed by setup. Okay, this button. And then you need to press uh, arrow down button. Okay, now we need to choose number 3, statistics. Okay, now we need to turn off the frequency because um, in our example, this is for ungrouped data. So, we don't have frequency for this. So, we must choose uh, number 2 to turn off the frequency. Okay, next, press menu button. Okay, now we have these uh, six options. Uh, this is option number one. You can use this arrow to the right button. This is option number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. Okay, so for this, we need to uh, choose this uh, six function. Okay, so you need to press button six. Okay, and then press number one. Okay, for variable. Right. Okay, now the next step is we need to key in the key in our data okay in this calculator. Okay, so this is our data 40, 30, 70, 61, 48, and 60. So the first value is 40. So press 40 for 40. And then to save this uh, data, you must press equal button. Okay, the second data value is 30 so 30 and then equal to save this this data and then we have 70 equal 61 equal 48 equal and our last x value is 60 so 60 equal all right so we have inserted all the x values in this calculator okay next step you can uh, press the ac button to clear the screen in this calculator all right so the next step okay now we need to refer to this uh, formula the formula for mean of ungrouped data is given by a uh, total x summation of x divided by n so we can get these two values from our calculator all right so the next step is i want to retrieve this value from this calculator Okay, so to obtain the summation values, okay, you need to press option button here. Okay, and then you need to press number 2 okay, for variable calculator. Right, so in this calculator, in this screen right now, I have a few uh, summation values. Okay, but for this mean value, we just need to focus on summation of x. Okay, this is the summation of x as you can see here. The value is 309. So this is our first summation value. Okay, next we want that n value. Okay, as we all know, n is the number of uh, x that we have in our data. Okay, if you press the arrow down button here, okay, you can see there is one term for n here. So our n is equal to 6. So our n for this example is 6. All right. Okay. And then the next step is you can plug in this value into the formula of summation of x divided by n. Okay. So we have 309 over 6. Okay. And then for the final value, you can obtain the final value from this calculator also. Okay. If you press the arrow up button here, 
Okay, you can see the first value here is x bar. So this x bar represent the mean value. So our mean value is 51.5. So by using this calculator, you can straight away obtain the value of mean from the calculator without calculating the mean value manually. So this is our final answer, 51.5, the value of mean.